see here the, the stigmas and the, the anthers haven't emerged yet, so you go ahead and cover it up with one of these these bags here, these glassine bags. Um, they cover it up. And Once your stigmas have emerged, like this plant right here, you can see there's all these white little anthers and the, the purple stigmas. Um, so you can go ahead and this would be a, a, a parent that you'd be able to use for, for crossing. One of the things that we have here is it's basically just a little metal stake and a, a straw that's been pinched at one end and um, can hold water for your, your male parent. So you'll place the stake in the, we have just six inch pots here in the greenhouse. We'll go ahead and place that stake there and then fill that straw up with water uh, just to give that, that pollen some, some uh, moisture uh, while it's doing this job. And we just kind of put it just below where we're going to make our cross and this will remain with the plant for about a month and then after a month these, uh, these seeds will have dried out on the plant and we can go ahead and harvest them. All right, so the next thing we can do is on the, the female parent we're going to use in the cross, we can go ahead and you can kind of see these white anthers here. Uh, we don't really need these for the cross and since uh, seashore pass pound is self incompatible. There's really no need to emasculate the plant. Uh, we can simply just kind of run our fingers along here. And you can kind of see these the white anthers have been removed, and all that's left is these purple stigmas. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and locate that pollen parent that we saw earlier. And there's a kind of a simple little trick to remove these. You kind of pinch at the base here, the, the race seams, and just pull up gently. You can kind of see there's this long kind of stalk-like uh, structure here with the, the raceme, and you can use this to, to make your cross. And to, to make the cross, all you do is you simply kind of knock the, the pollen around these uh, stigmas on the, the female parent, and you can also kind of rub the pollen grains uh, on, on both and kind of all sides of these, uh, the female here. And once we've done that, we just simply place your pollen parent here in the, the straw. And then we would go ahead and find another uh, glassine bag here and cover it up to prevent any other pollen from getting inside uh, with this cross. And then we'd simply write a date here on the top of the, the bag, and that way we'd know when uh, we made our cross. And typically we'll leave these bags on here for approximately one week, and that prevents any uh, foreign pollen from getting on and pollinate, pollinating our female plant. All right, so today's day is uh, July 25th, so once we uh, once we're done kind of making crosses for the day, we go through and look at all the bags that we have here. So you can see we have quite a few of these bags with either that have been made, the crosses have been made or we're, uh, we covered them up the day before to see if we can get uh, the sigmas to emerge on new seed heads. Um, so you can see here we found the bag here that says July uh, 14th, which has been over a week. Um, so we can go ahead and remove this bag. So you can kind of see this is kind of a mess right now, but you would essentially just remove the, the male that you can see here is kind of dried up. And then you remove this uh, stigma or the straw stake apparatus. Uh, and then simply, these, this will just wait here for another three weeks. And then I would come back here and just harvest this.